After months of talks, Vistra Energy, a big Texas-based utility, finally announced its plans to close its merger with Dynagy yesterday, which could create a $20 billion energy titan. The deal gives Vistra some major power generation holdings throughout the Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, and Midwest. But while Donagy's stock soared on the news, Vistra stock got slammed. It fell from $20 to 18 yesterday. It bounced back on nicely in today's session. Normally, we wouldn't be too excited about a utility at this point in the economic cycle. But the current economy is so strong that it's allowing utility stocks to roar. I think this deal could be a game changer for these guys. So let's sit down with Kurt Morgan. He's the president and CEO of Vistra Energy to learn more about the Dynagy deal and what it means for shareholders going forward and whether you should buy the stock. Mr. Morgan, welcome to Mad Money. Hey, Jim, thanks a lot for having me on. you got a great show uh, oh, here. Ah, oh, you're too kind. Thank you. All right, so we have introduced people to the American Electric Powers, to the Dominions. We've had a lot of the traditional utility plays. Could you please describe why Vistra is different and it's more of a growth situation so people know what they might be getting into? Yeah, sure. And we're what we refer to as a, a competitive uh, generator with a a retail energy provider. Uh, we don't have any regulated revenue streams. And, you know, we're free to deploy capital outside of the regulatory scheme. And so there's opportunities for us, obviously, to create returns above, you know, regulated returns. And if you can deploy capital at the right times of the cycle, uh, you can create disproportionate returns, but you have to be disciplined and you have to have a strong balance sheet. So you buy Dynagy and you incorporate that with your very, very good balance sheet and you become a national utility that could actually grow even faster than you could just in Texas. That is correct. And, you know, this is a complimentary deal. So, you know, we were exclusively in Texas and now we're in multiple states. Uh, it's also complimentary from the standpoint of just fuel type. We're going to be a lot more uh, natural gas fired generation, which is really the fuel of the future for the next 10 years at least. And so, yeah, this is a, you know, this is a great deal for us to diversify our business. Now, just again, so people understand, a, a regulated utility may not be able to make any money, uh, more money if natural gas falls in price, because they're regulated. Your company, if you can get cheap fuel and grow, benefits the right to the bottom line. It does. Um, and, you know, the, the, the thing about our company is it's resilient in both low, low and high gas prices. We're, we're probably more leveraged to higher natural gas prices because that translates into higher power prices. But given our strong combined cycle gas fleet, our natural gas fired uh, generation fleet, we actually uh, can make money uh, in, on uh, the down cycle of the gas business, which is really important to us. And the last thing I'd say, Jim, is that we have a retail business, too, that does well in lower power price environments and also in high power price environments. I think that's a differentiator. We're an integrated uh, power company, and uh, the retail business is incredibly important. I'm glad you brought that up, because one of the things when I was reading about your company, and thank, thank you for flagging me, because it's such an interesting deal, is that people get to choose. You know, people don't understand that maybe where I'm in New Jersey. They can choose power companies, and your company has... I, I, let me see, I'm trying to put this right, but it has a much better reputation than other providers, so people can switch to you, and apparently you're the dominant play because of the customers like you. That's right. I mean, we've, we have 24% of the market share in Texas. We've kept that amount for many years. Uh, we have very strong customer loyalty and customer ratings, uh, some of the tops in any retail business. Uh, and we have a, a very good product and services uh, part of our retail business that creates new products and services like free nights and solar days. Uh, very a creative business, very analytical and, and very profitable. Now, Dynagy at one point had lost its way. It had gotten in trouble. People felt it had taken too much debt on. Was, is it cleaned up enough that it can't bring Vistra down? Yeah, so at, at the end of the deal, uh, when we close that day, we will be, and I don't want to get too much jargon here, but we'll, we'll have uh, roughly four times uh, gross debt to our, our earnings or EBITDA. Mm -hmm. uh, that's still the lowest after the deal closes of anybody else in the business. And then within two years, we're back to our target of the three times gross debt to EBITDA. And that allows us, obviously, be given the, the, the earnings power of the company and the cash flow of the, power, uh, of the company, to deploy capital 
uh, during the low t uh, p parts of the cycle. Well, I got to tell you, you're a great way to play the industrial renaissance. I mean, you're in, in fantastic areas that are doing really well. I want people to understand you're a growth company. Kurt Morgan, president and CEO of Vistra Energy. Congratulations on that deal, sir. I think it's going to be a great one for you. Thanks a lot, Jim. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Okay, guys, you want growth? You wouldn't think you could get in utility, but an unregulated utility based in Texas that just moved into the Northeast, that company's going to give you growth. BST. I like the stocks. David Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.